This is the official podcast episode 238. This has been a really wild and wacky week, gentlemen, wouldn't you say? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, why not? Sure. Fuck it. So what yeah, makes it so course. crazy, Jackson? Don't throw it to me. <laughs> not this week. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done for at least last three weeks or so. I've been trying to bring <laughs> topics. I'm done. You guys go for do it. Do we need to... We can do 10 a.m. again if it's, like, really hard for you to stay up so late. No, it's not. I'm fine. I just... I, I don't want to bring topics at the moment. Someone else can do it. You my topic me is a top... Oh, okay. No, my topic is why doesn't Jackson bring topics anymore? No, oh, Christ. Here oh. we go. Well, I will say it then. Jackson did bring me a topic in my DMs. He sent me a tweet from Carson. Apparently, he's mm. almost back soon-ish. Oh, yeah. No promises or guarantees. Mm. No, so Jackson sent me this tweet from Carson. Hang on. Where's our DMs? And it literally just says, give me a little bit more time. <laughs> but the the comments on it are such a black pill, man. They're like, vicious. honestly, I've told you guys before, if I have a caliphate... I will either ban social media or I will slap a 25-year-old age limit, like minimum age limit on it for you to sign up. This is insane. The amount of people comparing this boy to um, EDP, like half the replies are EDP memes. The fucking 40-something-year-old who wanted to fuck a 13-year-old. Apparently that's the same as 19 and 17. Yeah. It is. It's the same exact scenario, in fact. <laughs> in fact, let's bring EDP back. Fuck Carson. Bring EDP back. He yeah, well, EDP chance. has his own website now. Yeah, EDP is like... back, yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Wait. No, we visited his website. It didn't even work, did it? Yeah, it was a virus, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, it doesn't work, but he does have it, so... <laughs> <laughs> it just directs all underage <laughs> visitors' information directly to EDP's phone. <laughs> It just caches everyone's age, sex, and location. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a group message to everyone. Hey, get some nudes. I don't fucking know. I feel bad for Carlson. The tweet is viral, too. It has like 100,000 likes. Holy shit. And it's... Again, most comments are treating him like he's Harvey Weinstein in recovery. Like, I know that he's gone to therapy, and I know that he's sorry for the crimes he's committed, but you know, guys, I want to forgive him, but at the same time, he's done something so heinous. Like, if if you didn't know the story, you'd think he got caught, like, skinning kittens or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I What's, what's the angle? Like, e even the people who were initially cancelling him... Like, do they just want him to disappear permanently, or is there room for forgiveness or room for change no in their mind? Forgiveness. No, 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 no one no. forgives on the internet. Any it, any human parasite who thrives off of drama and canceling people wanted to end as horribly as possible, so they can go, yeah, ooh, got him, fuck, that was so cool. Also, didn't he didn't he disappear without an apology? Yeah, yeah. he just disappeared. Also, he denied them the money shots, like for these worthless uh, parasites, for good. these locusts. The apology is like the cum shot in a porn, and they didn't get mm. that. Ah, oh, yeah. okay, now the I get best, why they're so actually, fucking angry. Charlie, you might correct me here, um, but I'm pretty sure like he apologized in a private Discord channel for other streamers and, and YouTubers, and that picture was okay, circulated no by idea. a YouTuber. Of him. I have no idea on that. Of him admitting That's guilt and dumb. saying it was fucked up and he, he doesn't, he, he feels bad about it and such. I, I know he apologized to his friends because he was like, uh, shouldn't be talking to these people and this stuff. And he apologized for that. But that's all I know as far as an apology goes. Don't you feel like he's kind of being gaslit by the entire internet as well as his shitty yeah. friends for for uh, like yes. being being self convinced that he's such a terrible person for what is a very natural relationship, apart from the fan dynamic, I guess, but still very natural age difference. Like for those of you out there that don't know the story, he was basically caught caught in parentheses uh, chatting intimately with a 17 year old when he was 19 a two-year age difference which is to explain in my it to opinion, you twitter people extremely normal he was caught in 4k while he was down bad 
<laughs> and yikes, was that an oof moment? Yeah, and, and you, you explain canceled. it like, to you rational human beings, he dated someone who went to the same high school that he did. <laughs> same grade I can't in people not live in real life yeah. anymore. It, it's really, it's like you've never seen people in high school date that are like 19 and 17. That's never happened where you live. That's so bizarre to me. 17, 18, and 19 year olds are so indistinguishable from each other as well. They in both are. like maturity and appearance. I don't understand how anyone could even remotely think that that's pedophilia. Plus, it is Charlie, insane. you can back me up on this. Isn't 16 the age of consent in many states in the United States? Yeah, but it doesn't have to do with consent. I think the problem most people had, myself included, that he would get nudes from 17-year-olds, and that's really dumb because ah, that's child porn. That is, that is it's, dumb. That's dumb. It, it is very yeah. dumb. Yeah, it's dumb, but still, like, you got to argue about it from a, like, a moral standpoint, surely. Like, he doesn't deserve to be thrown in jail or cancelled off the internet for what many people across the United States are doing. Yeah, like, like, there's a, there's yes, a lot of like, school, school relationships that do that. Fucking OnlyFans is in constant trouble. They're now moving away from porn. I don't know if you guys heard because there's like rampant minor aged porn on that sub fucking site because 17 year olds just sign up and they just say, yeah, I mean, I'm 18. Danielle Brigoli or whatever the hell her name is, um, the Cash Me Outside girl. The second she turned 18, she just uploaded photos on that fucking site and made a million bucks in a single day, presumably with photos that she took before she turned 18 that day, right? Nobody cares about that shit. They all fucking applaud it like a bunch of seals, but... This guy does the same thing just in private with somebody that he's flirting with. And it's the end of the pl goddamn planet. He's a rapist. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He is. <laughs> uh, fuck it, man. I mean, if he truly does come back and apologize, then whatever, man. You get what you fucking deserve. It's, if you want to <laughs> yeah. lean into the mob, I, I'm, I'm just so fucking done with the people who apologize to the mob. Same. I, ca I can't. I can't believe one of his spineless friends, someone that who considered him a friend at some point, had had the uh, hide to actually report him to the FBI. <laughs> like, that was pretty fucking wild, yeah. Fucking spineless, dude. That's like Wait, virtue that really? signaling to the Oh max. my god. I don't know if I didn't know that or if I just forgot about it, but yeah. Well. No, he actually he posted a picture of his uh, like anonymous tip to the FBI on Twitter. <laughs> It, it was so fucking sad. God, that's stupid. Yeah. And the FBI but has nothing better to do. Hope he, uh, hope he comes back and, I don't know, makes it through it. Yeah. There you go. So what do you guys think about OnlyFans moving away from porn? And Real so quick, though, OnlyFans died. Yeah, I don't think OnlyFans will ever move away from porn. Uh, yeah. Before we get off the topic, did Carson only do this with one 17-year-old, or was it multiple? Do we remember, or do we know? I don't uh, know. There was only or one remember. only one that came out and said anything. Like, one allegation. Our commentary is based on us knowing that it's just one girl at 17. Don't fucking yell at us if we're missing info. Okay, yeah, because I don't remember. I just remember that one big one. Me too. No, yeah, it was like a sure. like an ongoing thing where it was like multiple people under 18 he'd get nudes from or like flirt with like that. That's probably a bigger issue. But as far as I remember, I think it was only one. Like systemic nude farming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's running a business. Yeah, that would suck. What'd you say All about right, OnlyFans? Well, They're moving away from porn? Yes, OnlyFans. So they're um, apparently they've been now valued at one billion dollars, and they because are a profitable porn. company. Yeah, because of porn, of course, because they've yeah. groomed an entire generation of girls to toss away their dignity for money successfully, and now they're gonna leave those girls behind as well. I guess uh, they want to move away from porn and basically make it so athletes and celebrities sign up instead. Dead. And basically use OnlyFans like Patreon, I guess. I mean, Patreon Dead is successful. Service. I it, think. That's going to completely fucking kill the platform entirely. Yeah, what? it absolutely completely. would. It, it but is but the yeah, stupidest it fucking thing they could do. Look at Tumblr. Tumblr was huge, and now it's completely dead because they got rid of porn. It's, I think, it's fucking yeah. I think if oh, you're... Oh, oh, they get, they're actually getting rid of porn. They're, they're banning porn on it and moving towards just more safer work stuff. 
Yeah, like me. Just, so it says SX born founder Tim Skokley, the son of a whatever, um, is keen to find backers to fund a shift away from adult content into more mainstream media. Bloomberg reported that the company was particularly seeking to put more athletes and celebrities on the site, enabling it to bring in more ad money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you guys are probably right. I think unless your social media site or whatever your platform is explicitly anti-porn, either from the start or very early into its life cycle, it's just too late. Yeah, You know, when your platform is just known for porn, like Tumblr, then yeah, I mean, at that point, that's like what 98% of people go to your site for. It is incredibly yeah, because you impressive. You can absolutely be... You can be very successful without porn. I mean, look, as far as I know, Facebook doesn't allow porn, right? And they're, you know, it's Facebook, mega successful. So, but they did that from the start. So, I, I, yeah, this might bite them in the butt. It's incredible. I don't know why they would pivot unless they're being forced to by like uh, government regulations or something, which I can't imagine they would be. But um, I think it's incredibly impressive that they were able to get a $1 billion valuation by actually selling porn. Like something that's available so freely across the internet, they actually managed to monetize it extremely efficiently. Well, it's a good business model for the future of it. It's personalized porn. Because yeah. like you go on Pornhub and yeah, you might have a favorite porn actress, but number one, she's doing a general video shoot. And number two, 99% of the videos are man with big dick fucks redhead slut or whatever it is. But on, on OnlyFans, it's the streamer model. Oh, I really like cutie bubblegum 62. Oh, I want to see her pussy and have her <laughs> message me and all that. It's, so it's the same way that streaming works. That's why streaming's so big. It's that level it's of not, like it, attachment. It's not like, it's not like all of these uh, OnlyFans women are doing such uh, obscure fetishes or, or anything wild and wacky, really. It's usually just like bikini shots and and general nude cosplay yeah, stuff. But it's but it's their bikini shots and nudity on a personal level. Jackson, what is like sexier to you? A random woman's titties or a woman's titties who goes, Jackson, you're so cute. And I wanna no, I wanna oh show my you my titties. No. Jesus or Christ, Jackson's no, blushing. Not random Jackson's not blushing. Yeah, Jackson's blushing. Don't not use my random, name. Not random. Call me deep throat. Throat. Like, Jackson, all right, all right. Imagine uh, half the girls sell in Sell it your on class. PC. I want you to see my titties. There, there we go. go. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, Jackson, yeah. It's more like oh, wow. imagine if half the girls in your class had an OnlyFans back in the day. You would have signed up for that shit. Yeah, but, like, like, like back when you were fucking eighteen years old, and like <laughs> there's a girl in your class who has an OnlyFans. Yeah, I mean the guys in that class are gonna fucking want to see that, right? Yeah, but then then well, yeah, I would. There's probably like crushes I've had that I'd be like, yeah, okay, I could see myself paying five dollars for that. Five dollars. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Right, also, they're I, moving away from to. porn, Jackson, for the same reason that like the drug cartels for a while wanted to go legitimate and, and the drug trade and like buy actual companies and do everything legally because it's a dangerous business. Sure, you're selling a drug, but look at what happened to fucking Pornhub overnight. One fucking article. It was the New York Times. One article that killed Pornhub because one article draw, drew attention to MasterCard and Visa. And MasterCard and Visa said, okay, we can't be associated with fucking child rape, all right? Fuck you, Pornhub. And they just dropped them. And now, like, several members of MindGeek, the company that owns Pornhub and multiple other porn sites, they're, like, they're in, actually in kind of trouble now. Like, they're being investigated by the fucking authorities for some of the shit they've done. So yeah. I would assume that the leader of OnlyFans looked at that and said, you know what, I mean... <laughs> I'd rather not deal with that shit in the future. I already have 17 year olds signing up to my website to spread their ass cheeks. That's already a problem. I don't want to tread yeah. on this dangerous ground. But by changing or pivoting from away from the thing that made you successful in the first place, I feel like you're just skipping ahead to that point anyway. Yeah, I, but, you know, without the legal trouble, I guess. Plus, I mean, he's got to be so loaded at this point. Would he really care at this point for him? I would imagine it's like, let's make one last ditch effort to go legitimate and uh, make it a less dangerous business. And if it doesn't work, fuck it, I'm already a billionaire. We actually very recently did a deep dive on OnlyFans, uh, like an actual look into the history of OnlyFans. It was a family company, correct, Charlie? Yeah, it was started by <laughs> the guy and his dad. <laughs> That's so wholesome. That is wholesome. <laughs> Didn't the guy also run a website where we're selling like yep. login and phone keys to it, websites that spread child porn? 
Oh, well, that wasn't in our deep dive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, th- I don't believe we made any of those accusations. In, yeah, I don't think we tossed dive. that around. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I guess we didn't go deep enough. I guess not. That's as far as his ethics go, but yeah, uh, yeah whatever. He did It'll have be a, interesting to see. He did have a very weird site beforehand where you could commission girls to like shit on things and stuff for you. It was like <gasps> personalized porn kind, kind oh. of thing. I, I actually have, I actually, that reminded me, Charlie, I have some very sad news. I got a, a DM the other night, late at night, uh, a fan pleading me to check out uh, Love Rochelle's website. Do you guys remember Love Rochelle, the, the, the girl that we had previously talked about on the show who would shit in Twinkies and then sell those Twinkies? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the she's pioneer. Sh- she's shutting down her shit factory. It's no! out of business. No! I know. What happened? I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be the one to tell you guys. I was saving Did up for those, enough those to retire. Twinkies. Can she no longer poop? Yeah, her, her arsehole was blown out. <laughs> it's not working anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do no. you? Was this an official announcement she made on her blog, or how do you know? I would say, uh, like, I think her website had a uh, countdown that was basically saying uh, this website will be removed in like three days, and then. So anybody remember the website? It. it was like Love Rochelle 2. I only I only know that because I tried to look it up the other day when that <laughs> that guy told me. It's not like it's bookmarked or anything. Love Rochelle 2. It's not like it's my homepage and desktop background or anything. <laughs> yeah. Haha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't find it. Why is she doing this? Oh, oh I boy. Found a, ew, I found a Twitter. Oh, okay. And the website. Ah. Uh, uh. She she wants us to oh, suffer. Yeah, it says uh, dear LR2 community, thank you for your support over the years. We apologize for the abrupt decision to close the site. You can continue your oh. scat capades by visiting our parent site scat shop. Oh, yes. Did they just fire her? Was she just Wait, part she was of a o- bigger shitting I operation? I thought she was an indie developer. I thought she she created her own recipes. Oh. She, she was no, there's own? a site called scatshop.com where... Oh, there's plenty of women on this site. Oh my god. What? But you love, can buy shit love. from all sorts of women. Yeah. I don't know why she's doing this. Ah! Ah! Did you come? Yeah. <laughs> Were you looking at the website a little too closely? <laughs> I'm, okay, just go to the site and scroll I, down a little until that. you'll see the, the uh, reaction. Ah! I, I went to her Twitter. That was good enough. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen enough shit for one day. So, yeah. yeah. I'm tapping out on that. Sad, sadly, oh, yeah, our lovely, tapping out. our lovely lady is retiring onto greener pastures. Yeah, a good run. <laughs> Browner pastures, the, the, I guess. The only people that will now be consuming her Twinkies are her grandchildren. Eventually, uh, yeah. according yeah. to according to her Twitter, <laughs> new she says new website later this month. I'm not oh. retiring. Oh, oh, thank God! Oh, whoa! Yeah, is that is that hot news? When was that tweet made? It's on her fucking banner on Twitter. It's the very top of the very first thing you see on her Twitter. A way to do your homework, Jackson. Yeah. I never said, well, I, I'm not looking too I deep into I understand that you shit. boys did five seconds of Googling, but I did six seconds of Googling and found and that this. Makes, that makes the difference. Yeah. Speaking of making so, a difference, Andrew, isn't there something you want to talk about? Oh boy, I would love to make a dis- difference in anyone's life. And that's why I'd love to have them get a box of awesome. If you look at your life right now and go, you know, it's just not, it's not doing it. It's not good enough. It's not exciting. There's nothing new, nothing fresh, nothing interesting for me to tackle, nothing to get into. Well, maybe you need to check out Bespoke Post. Because Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerges brands to bring you the most unique goods every month. No matter what you're into, the Box of Awesome has you covered. From travel and outdoor gear to breezy summer sales and grooming goods, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. I bring it up every time, but I got a little, I got a big steel pitcher that I often make Pakari sweat and other weird little juices in. I still use it. It's in my fridge. It's great. The Box of Awesome will start you with a quiz. I know you don't like homework, but this homework's worth it. Trust me. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel at any time. Each box is 45 bucks, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. 
And you can get 20% off of your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter code OFFICIAL at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code OFFICIAL for 20% off your first box. Nice. Very Thank nice. you. Thank very you, Box of Awesome. Nice. You know what's very official podcast like is like, you just spent five minutes discussing entirely fake news. Thanks to Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to me. I don't think we'll ever I, change. I didn't, I didn't cause her to shut her to website down for no reason. I thought it was interesting. I wonder why yeah. she, she she shut it down. Well, it doesn't seem like she shut it down. It seems like it's under new management and she's starting her own new website. Okay. Good yeah. for that. Yeah, that's, that's not interesting. Hopefully, she, yeah. Hopefully, she gets more profit this time from her. Now she'll be from her actually creations. indie. Yeah, yeah support she got indie corporate. developers. <laughs> it wasn't the it wasn't the same when she was working for the man. <laughs> Always with the censorship, never yeah. being able to call your own shots, take your own direction, your own unique touch to it. Always the suits coming in. No, you have to shit this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She the didn't what color is that shit how she wanted? What color is that <laughs> shit? Autumn brown? We're looking for chestnut. Chestnut! <laughs> Our shareholders are not happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not meeting quota. At least tell me your texture's been tiny balls. What? Fat logs. Oh. <laughs> we have so much work to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. God, we'll bring in there? a director. Like a, a fucking like Hollywood director, he just has to sit down and talk with her. All right, for this, for this shit, you've had a really green salad, and your your life is going uh. great, but not too great. You're a little stressed at work. <laughs> like, you want to, to relieve yourself a little. Out. Take a little bit of Xanax, some laxatives, just relax. Yeah. Oh God, the sleeping pills and laxatives, Russian roulette. Yeah, Christ. Um, what was I going to ask? Oh, have you guys seen the... Has anybody here checked out the iCarly reboot, which is apparently live no. now? No. Oh, no, is it up us. now? I think so. People are posting clips of it. And the one clip I saw is where, like, a lady comes into the room, and then Carly is there. And the lady's like, don't worry, I'm not kink-shaming your fursuit. And I just thought, okay, well, there goes my childhood. I'm done. Oh, I'm going to look that up not right now. This. King shame your first it's, it's in the chat right there charlie i don't want to watch it i'll pass well i want to see it let me take a let me take a gander oh, wait so is carly a fairy confirmed no she's holding like a wedding gown or something or a costume of some sort i don't fucking know hang on uh so it's a bit of a misunderstanding i see oh yeah it. i just watched I'll it hang on now we Ooh, have to boy. play it just 10 seconds that's that's rough Y'all doing like a furry thing. Yep. No. Don't worry, I'm not here to king shame your fursona. <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to be on a brunch date? Oh, no. I oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can tell that they had to add stocked canned laughter and there's no real audience because the audience would go, what the fuck did she just say? Yeah, what? that's how yeah. you is can tell. A, is that yeah. a joke? How'd you, how'd you figure that one out, Andrew? Was <laughs> <laughs> it the canned laughter? <laughs> <laughs> that they use literally what, everywhere what? else? It's no, it's just such a specific joke. It I'm is a joke amazed. that you no, it's like. Just, it's... You no, I get what Andrew. Like, what you mean though is they try to make it contemporary and something that yeah. the kids could relate to, to these days. But like, I don't want that in the. I don't know. I go to entertainment media for escapism. I don't want it to be a one to one map of my fucking of my reality. When I watch Mad Max, I don't want him pulling out his fucking phone and TikToking. I was like, ugh, I already oh, live in my right. That'd be kind of cool, though, let's be honest. We get a TikTok no. dance with Mad Max. That'd be fucking awesome. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, come on, no. guys. Stop being selfish. Yeah, you don't like fun. You should be in no, Fortnite, but... doing Fortnite dances. Stop fast building. shaming. I, I Carly, fursona. believe it or not, Kaya, but iCarly is extremely different to Mad Max. I, I think even <laughs> I think uh, when iCarly <laughs> first came out, in fact, it, it kind of coaxed off relevant, uh, you know, references at that time as well 
I guess so I, think that's just I, the guess, whole I mean, DNA. yeah, you're probably right. So just like I, I have old man syndrome. Okay, you guys, I'm turning thirty in eight I, days. I, I right? You yeah, you're I nostalgic. Have old man syndrome. Yeah. yeah. I I am nostalgic. So when I see these shows and it's like I I remember this fondly. I have nostalgic memories. I haven't seen it in like fifteen years, but this used to be a good show, right? And then I tune in and it's like fursona, woof woof, oo woo. Ugh. Okay, my I was wrong. I guess. Fuck this. Someone said they're talking about sexual shit on a kid show, though, and I get that. I would agree with that if it was like Powerpuff Girls, for example, where this like <laughs> it's very clearly geared towards children. But I think this yeah. is more so aged towards the audience that watched iCarly. It's not. Yeah. It's not geared towards actual children anymore. This looks like a fan service follow up, not like a. Yeah a rehash of the same formula. So. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not entertained by what I saw in that clip that you guys sent. I don't like it, but I, it's not like I'm offended by it or anything. I don't hate it. It's just Fine. weird. It just looks bad. It just looks like, who cares? Fuck it. Don't bother. It's all. It must be so hard, I guess, to just come up with new shits because all it is is reboots. I am getting so tired Rebooted of like shows. remasters and reboots. Yeah, it's like, it's it not that franchise. it's hard. It's just it's it's the other end of it. It's reboots are way easier, really easy, yeah. and yeah. safe and safe. You, you already have the yeah, market research you, to to demonstrate that this is a product that will sell because people yeah, like yeah. it. Think about it. You don't need to create a new universe. You don't need new characters. You already have an established fan base that's going to watch it. You can base all of your direction and art style or props or whatever you have on existing things. All you need to do is come up with a new story. And even then, like Star Wars is a classic example, you can just redo the old ones, like how they did with Episode 7, which was the exact yeah. same plot as Episode 4. I mean, you take someone that somebody already invented, that's a good idea, and then, yeah, you just puppeteer his thing. You just beat his dead horse now. He rode yeah. that fucking horse. He was a great jockey. He won all the tournaments. And now you just have to take your fucking baseball bat and crush it into a little powder and sell it to yeah. people. That's all you have to do. But I was... Go, Jackson. Go, Andrew. Go ahead. No, no, no. You uh, go, you well, go. I was going to say, the I thing is, that. though, Kaya, in that powder is billions of dollars. So yeah, until that stops... Powder. Yeah, it's damn good powder. Yeah, until until, they stop, until that stops, they're not going to stop doing it. So. They're never going to stop. Profit driven. It's almost as if the way that you can help change it, everyone listening and all of us, is don't watch it. Don't consume it. I haven't watched the iCarly remake and I'm not going to. I'm Did doing my part two. Yeah. Same. Now, if it's a good remake or a continuation like Mad Max, yes, please, by all means, support it. But if it's very clearly just no, wait, doing Mad the same Max. shit for money, <laughs> it's a great. remake. Yeah, that's not a remake. That's not a it's, remake. It's not a remake, but it's a continuation. Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's a property it's that they dug up after like 20 years and were like, yeah, let's do it again. Way better good. than the old movies, by the way. I'm sorry, Spiritual Mel Gibson. Success, yeah. but I, I, no, I want to bring up this topic. Shut the fuck up, Kaya. Have you seen what? the second one? <laughs> Mad Max 2. I think so. A long time ago. And it's just like everybody else, because every like I rave about that movie all the time. So I, sometimes I get messages from people like, Kai, I watched Mad Max. It sucked. And then I ask, which one? And they're like, the one with Mel Gibson? Yeah. I mean, it's ancient. I guess it's kind of okay. It's a product but of its time. Fury Road. So, uh, it's so me, much better. Let me, let me bring yeah. up my topic, because I was directly going to bring this up and ask you about it, Kaya. So about four years ago, probably five, I don't remember, Charlie and I watched the first Mad Max together. Fucking and terrible. It was, it's pretty boring. Yeah, it's, it's pretty boring. I, it's I a mean, movie from the 80s, right? Well, like it's 80s? a movie from the 70s, and it had a 70s, budget yeah. of less than a half a million dollars. So it, yeah. even with that, though, it's pretty poorly paced, and a lot of scenes <laughs> are just talking. And it, it has decent ideas. It's just kind of, eh. The second movie, though, I watched like last week, a few days ago. That movie's great. I, I don't know. I, I I hope you're not misremembering it, Kaya, because Mad Max Two is really good. It's it's from the eighties well, and it's got a much bigger budget. Them now. It's fuck. What's that? You have. Me, I might have to rewatch it now. You have me curious. It's great. It so yeah. There are still some corners that they cut. For example, in a couple chase scenes, they speed up the footage a bit so it's faster. And <laughs> it, 
like like there are some low budget things but then again it's a movie made for four million dollars in 1981 which is absolutely nothing I think um, if you go in, I think if you go in expecting to watch exactly. uh, Fury Road version two, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah, because it's still, yeah. a, it's still I, very I much in, a product yeah. of its time. I went in knowing, hey, it's the older ones, and they're still kind of low budget, and you know, it was feeling its way out. But having said that, it's a great fucking movie. The stunts are excellent. They do actual, just like Fury Road, big, full, real stunt work with a bunch of cars. They blow a bunch of shit up. The plot's what? really good. It, I, I like, I went into it watching, okay, fuck it. I'll watch the next Mad Max. We'll see how it is. And halfway in, I was like, this is fucking amazing. This is you know, such a good, exciting movie. You know, what's always, uh, baffled me is why the fuck is there a water world stunt show, but there's no fucking Mad Max stunt show. It That's seems a really like it would good be question. Set, it would be set up for that. <laughs> I don't know. I, have you yeah. ever watched Waterworld? What kind of stunts are yes. you in? I, I have seen Water both World. Waterworld and the Waterworld Water. stunt show. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Waterworld just a horrible Mad Max ripoff, but in the ocean? And for Kinda. some reason, there's it, no more land? It was a big, big, big budget movie, and it flopped and made almost nothing because people Kevin just Bacon, didn't right? care. Kevin Costner, I think. Uh, yeah, fuck. Kevin Costner. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like this movie. Waterworld is kind of like the first Mad Max where premise wise it's good. It's like, oh, a whole world of ocean and like they have to improvise boats and they build cities out of garbage and it's like, oh, that's cool. But then you watch the movie and it's a lot of just like nothing. Nothing really happens. It's just kind of dumb and boring. Were the stunts at least cool in it? No, Eh. but there is a scene where (laughs) I believe it's Kevin Costner unclothes a woman like he rips her clothes off Ooh. or something and yeah. i thought Seductively. that was the coolest shit yeah i thought there, it was the coolest shit yeah. i ever saw i saw a side titty also uh it's either kevin costner or kevin another Costa character that has they have gills and they make like a weird disgusting <laughs> noise do you remember that charlie is that in water world i think that's water world where one of them has gills no. and andrew was watching them. spongebob again yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> How do you even make stunts that have any sort of stakes in water world? Like, even if you fall, like, it's water. It's like jumping yeah, in a I pool. I mean, they shoot each other. If they yeah, have, like, harpoons. That's lame. I was going to say, maybe, uh, maybe like, if the impact against Explosions. the water was strong enough, you, like, sna- snap your neck. There's still impact there. That's still not cool. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. It, I know it's not cool to say, but, like, modern movies... The technology of it all and the production value, they have definitely spoiled me. Where yeah. I, I couldn't I'm watch you though, Star man. Wars anyway. Like I will never watch them. But if I did, I just I could not get into the older ones. I've seen them once and it's like awful. And the newer ones, yeah, I am spoiled. Like you have fucking industrial lights and magic using LED volumes now. Like I don't know if you guys know, but they've retired green screens. Green screens are not a thing anymore. It's like the it's technology of the past at this point. Hmm? What do you, what do you, wait, what are you talking about? Green, what? No, green screens are still very actively used. Oh, are you talking about the fucking... It's still, um, yes, but I'm talking about, like, for example, in The Mandalorian. They're using yeah, yeah, what's, yeah. what they call the screen, LED the volumes, which is... Yeah, the three... Yeah, like, it's the way of the That's, fucking future and it looks amazing. Because you have all yeah, these... I mean, yeah, it does. It really does. Um, you know, impressive. the reflections on the armor are accurate and all that sort of shit. They're like, okay, it's just not the same watching a movie that's 60 years old. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get into it quite as much. Well, do you think you could get into it if you felt more comfortable with what auto insurance policy you had? <laughs> Probably, <laughs> if I didn't want to watch the movie and, like, kill myself in my car afterwards and I worry about the insurance. Yeah. Well, you're going to be worrying the whole time. Am I overpaying for home and auto insurance? Well, maybe you should have Policy Genius look into a lower rate for you. I mean, they've saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were originally paying for home and auto insurance. I mean, they're, they're, their team's going to handle the paperwork and set you up with a new policy or switch over your current one. They're going to make it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. I don't know why people wouldn't use that so that way they can feel more comfortable while they go out and live their lives doing whatever they want to do. Getting started is very easy. First, head to policygenius.com, answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius will take it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers from Progressive to Allstate and find the lowest quote. Their top-notch service has also earned them an excellent rating on Trustpilot. 
you can head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Mm -hmm. You should get it right. Fucking yeah. insurance is expensive, man. Get the cheapest shit. Like, well, not the cheapest, but get the best thing for the cheapest price. Yeah. I do mean, do research on insurance before you buy one, because there's yeah, a with, lot of different options. With most uh, purchases that are going to follow you for years to come, you should definitely be comparing your options anyway, and this seems like the best way to do that. So why wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, back to Mad Max, because I can't stop talking about this movie. I've been obsessed <laughs> with it for like the last five days since I watched it. I think, Kaya, you might honestly have trouble getting into it because it is older <laughs> and it is cheaper. But like the style of it is the same as Fury Road. The main villain is called Lord Scrotus or no, Lord, <laughs> Lord Humongous. <laughs> Lord Humongous. Scrotus. Wait, those, those were very Scrotus, different, Scrotus is, Andrew. How'd you no, get Scrotus? Because Scrotus is from the video game, which I also played. Uh, yeah, uh, but but his name is Lord Humongous, and he wears a giant metal helmet and a cod piece, and that's all he wears. And fucking, like, the other main villain is a dude with a pink mohawk who has a crossbow on his arm, and it's it's really cool. It's so good. And the plot's actually, like, interesting and moves and has action and... Oh, God, it's so good. There's a scene where what? I won't spoil too much. If any of you out there are going to watch it, there's a scene where a guy like accidentally cuts his fingers off and everyone else in his biker gang laughs at him for like three minutes straight. And it gets really <laughs> uncomfortably long how long the scene is of them just laughing at him for it. It's really good. Was he OK? Uh -oh. And oh, he was fine. Was yeah, he's he's, he's yeah. just mad about it. OK, was it Morton um, Joe in the first one or the second one? Immortan Joe's in the, the fourth actor. one, Fury Road. No, no, I mean the actor. He's in two movies. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. How the, many, wait, is Joe, the, Mad Max movies? Yeah, yeah, there's three originals, like the older ones, and then Fury Road. And Immortan <laughs> Joe in Fury Road. I forget the actor's name, and I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Oh, right. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, he plays, uh, I think, one of the bad guys in one of the earlier movies, too, when he was way younger. He well, what's the, what are the titles of the three? There's like some kind of a rainer or a Coliseum. So there's what so Mad it? Max and then Mad yeah. Max Two: The Road Warrior and then Mad Max Three: Beyond Thunderdome. Yeah, Thunderdome. I think it's and Thunderdome then Mad Max Four: Fury Road. Yeah, they have the coolest I, fucking names too: Beyond Thunderdome, Fury Road. Fuck yeah! yeah. I love I'm, this I'm talking about Road Warrior, by the way, because I haven't watched the third one yet. I probably will this week, but from what I've read and people have told me, it's like the third one's when it gets kind of dumb and like silly, <laughs> like they do some stupid ideas. But the second one, Road Warrior, I I can't recommend it enough. Go in with an open mind. Remember that it's literally f a forty-year-old movie made on a small budget but if you keep that in mind it's really entertaining and i i had a great fucking time with it i can't recommend it no. enough i just might you might you might like it i think it depends yeah yeah it's been years anyway Road Warrior, as well baby. We watch cool fucking Road movie Warrior. The that was my topic Warrior. that's the fifth one coming out next week that's my topic. Jackson, what do you have nice. for topics? How do you guys feel we've been going recently in terms of negativity? Are we too negative? Shut up, Jackson. Jackson, <laughs> did you get a good night's sleep? Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. No, how can I sleep? Tell me how to sleep. Perhaps a Helix mattress will help you feel better. You're oh, right. God, that's you the positivity happy, I was happy. looking for. Yeah. Yes. I mean, not being able to sleep today is... Oh, well, it's rampant everywhere. There's a lot of shit going on. There's terrible boxing matches. There's E3. There's there's Legos. It's just there's too much on your mind. You know, like some people out there listening use this podcast to fall asleep. And actually, legitimately, during this during this ad break, I'd love to give a quick shout out to anyone who falls asleep to this show. Wake up and purchase a Helix mattress. Helix Sleep has mm -hmm. a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Everyone's unique, and Helix knows that, and they have several different mattress models to choose from. Soft, firm, medium, great for cooling you down, great for plus-sized people. Helix is also the number one best overall mattress of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. 
You just go to helixsleep.com slash official, take a two minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. You'll get $200 off of all your mattress orders and important word there and not or not maybe not possibly but and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash official $200 off two free pillows helixsleep.com slash official you Thank immediately you for... proved me wrong you, by uh reminding <laughs> me that we have a mandatory three positive segments each week so that's great <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey man, and I we get love paid for Felix. them. Couldn't be more positive. Too. And for those of you who were just woken up, thank you for joining us. Pretty rude to fall asleep while we're talking, but check out Helix. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. And don't do it again. Don't fall asleep again, you sons of bitches. Listen you're all the way through. Very, you're not a very positive person either, though, Jackson. You only ever send mm. me things you don't like. Like you send me people mm. on Reddit that are just kids making sentences of bad horror and yeah. garbage. Yeah. Um, that's that, that, that's that, a good point, Jackson. Out the, of the four of us, you're the one obsessing <laughs> Boogie, wishing for his downfall. Yeah. Well, well, wait, no, yeah. no. Wait. I don't, I've never no, once said that I want his downfall. I just find it entertaining. He's downfall. Yeah, <laughs> and if he wasn't, you wouldn't care about him. It's a yeah, pretty negative yeah. thing. That's well, kind of toxic yeah. of you, Jackson. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you laugh at people? Uh, so to be fair, fair. No, wait, to be fair, to be fair, I only do that to relate to you guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's you our fault. You just, you just, fuck are you you just only, class only on bring gaslighting. you those subreddits so that we can you come in converse here. about you come things in here. that you want to converse about. You go, everybody hates how negative we are, then Charlie fucking debunks that yeah. in like 10 seconds flat, and then Christ. you say, oh, and then Andrew says, well, you're kind of negative too, Jackson, and then you go, well, it's, I just want to be friends with you and be able to relate. It's like we're Jackson. peer pressuring you. <laughs> Jackson, look at the contrast. I came to this episode with the loaded topic of, hey, I saw this movie, and it's really good and i think no, you specifically would like up it. about mad max jesus but christ then, move right, on i did that but then you come in and you go oh my topic is boogies getting fatter everybody <laughs> like, do you see the difference <laughs> like come on wait, maybe, you're, maybe you're being self-negative you and you're taking you, it out you're, on us you are literally gaslighting uh, someone in this situation. No, you're gaslighting us. <laughs> no, I've never once <laughs> I've always had the opinion that uh, Boogie's weight is irrelevant to what makes him funny. I've never <laughs> once come in here and said that Boogie's getting fatter. It's just fatter. an that's, example, that's not... Jackson. It was just Well, your example. example was immediately wrong. I never once commented on his weight. I find you commented on his, you've commented on his teeth and his personality and everything else. What? I have never, no, I have never commented on anything superficial with Boogie. I don't care about that. I, mm. I Didn't you talk all about the teeth back when the teeth was a thing? Ooh, I, I don't know about that. I also yeah, think I remember some is, teeth conversations. <laughs> there is no what? way you didn't call him fat ever. Yeah. Yeah, you, you mentioned, you, you were talking about when he got his teeth pulled. You were like, oh, I don't know why he wants to show his disgusting, awful teeth all over my timeline. I remember that. What you said that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's way more likely than it was Kaya. What are you talking well, about? I, okay, now, all right. <laughs> sure, let's retcon history. I said a bad thing. Must have been Kaya. <laughs> I, I just don't see myself commenting Ooh. on his physical appearance ever. Ooh. At least hey, make not no publicly. Doubt. I, I am sure I have said that about Jackson, him and every I other aspect about now, him. Just but I'm not now a liar. searched our private Discord for messages containing the word teeth. And you oh, immediately go. when it happened sent Kaya a screenshot that says, Look, our favorite lol cows are meeting up for breakfast, and it's a boogie <laughs> talking about Maddox. <laughs> and what do you have to say for yourself? Where where? <laughs> it was a year ago, two years ago even. Here. I'll, I'll give you a screenshot. I wonder if Jackson's the force of negativity that we all feed <laughs> yeah. off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe yeah, you're like the one who's causing all this and you're just going to blame all of us because you're so negative. This is pretty insidious of you, like to paint yeah. us as the bad guys when your whole topic right now is negative. You're like painting us as the they're just some sort of evil cyber bullying toxicity podcast wait a second what are you fucking saying that picture i'm saying hey he's looking good now that he's got fake new teeth teeth that's a compliment you oh, called them a low cow that's, at negging. First. that's called negging because they are they literally are low cows 
That's the that's the uh, It's pretty actual... dubious. No, I meant it in a good way. Like uh, lol means laugh out loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were all laughing about it, so it couldn't be negative. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jackson, I will not further expose you, but just doing a in our DMs, just doing a search for Don't the word Don't you dare fat. talk about DMs. That's private. Yeah, ah, yeah. That, okay. I, I, I chose, chose, so I chose a group server, not DMs. Anything goes in DMs. That's not that's not to do with the show. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting Don't make Twitter me go cancelled, through, buddy. Don't make me go through your DMs, Kaya. <laughs> You've... Oh, I, I have... Again, Jackson, the difference between you and I is I don't make... You know, I don't fucking uh, bullshit you guys about what I do in my DMs. I'm very open about what a fucking prick I can be with my friends. That's... Yeah. I'm yeah, but Kaya, there. Kaya, guess what? I'm also saying that I, I, I'm admitting to my share of negativity. I, I don't know where this is coming from. You this just denied like, it for 10 minutes. No, I did not deny that I'm not negative. I'm I'm saying that the audience has been sensing a lot more negativity. I was just defending you guys. If you want to get to the meat of it, episode. the entire last week's episode's comments have been stop bullying Jackson. Right, I was just right. trying to dance the, around the topic while still bringing entire, this up for the audience. Well, now you're fucking the priming them for last it. Last week episode comments were negative. Fine. The week before that, no. The week before that, no. The week before that, probably not. So who cares? Wow. Well, apparently one episode last made people either, upset. Who gives a fuck? Doesn't matter. Well, apparently last week's comments weren't that either, but I, I bet, yeah, maybe this week they're going to be like that because now you've primed people to it, Jackson. <laughs> you've put them up to it. So now it's going to be like, why are they bullying Jackson? He's right. They are too negative. Yeah. What was this whole... Was, you know what, Jackson? Before this, what was this episode's topics? Prophecy. We, were, we were happy and positive that Carson is, <laughs> you know, coming back. I brought up a movie that I'm really invested in. We were talking about... God, what was the other one? shut up about the movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up about something I'm being positive about? Excuse yeah, no, me, Jackson. Yeah, I'm positivity. Your positivity. <laughs> <laughs> what was so our other topic? What was the, we had three topics before this. What was the third one? Oh, the iCarly guys... thing. Okay, fine. But even then, we were talking about how we were nostalgic for things, and it's like, yeah, Waterworld. We said Waterworld water was good. Waterworld, yeah. And then Jackson comes in and goes, "You guys are too negative." You're not getting <laughs> because I made fun of E3, again, which is awful. What again, do you, what do you want us to say about E3? It sucked yeah. again. Again, I never said you guys were too negative. You know, you guys know I love my boys. I've been here for four years. I can deal with the negativity. My point was last week, there are a bit of comments saying that Andrew's a bit too negative. And that's what Jackson. I want to bring up. <laughs> just to give you Jackson. Just there, are comments every, there are comments every week on every single episode that I should kill myself. Who fucking cares yeah. what they say? The audience Literally. doesn't. Jackson, we have like... Change.org is still hosting like five-year-old petitions to kick Andrew off the fucking show. Who gives a shit? Why Who why cares? does it get to you now? It's why is now Jesus. of all times? What? Jackson, what would have made more what would have been more specific and more helpful is if you came in and said, Andrew, there's some comments on this new episode that are calling you negative and saying really mean things. Are you okay? And then I could look you in your beautiful blue <laughs> eyes and say, Jackson, I don't give a shit. And then we would move on. And it would be great. That's all. It it's doesn't just, matter. <laughs> I'm just, this is I'm, our best I'm, episode in a while. This yeah, is I'm great. enjoying this thoroughly. By the way, somebody topic, posted Jackson. a petition <laughs> 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 to remove Jackson from the podcast. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm, That's like I'm, three years I'm, old. I'm honestly, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> Like I should have, I really should have expected bringing this up would somehow backfire and turn around on me. <laughs> uh, shit, what's positive at the moment? Uh, I've I've been thinking that I might get another pet, guys. That's something cool. Ooh, oh, what, what kind? kind? What kind? So I've been I've been thinking about what's the closest thing I can get to a dinosaur possible, and I've discovered a breed of uh Chicken. like monitor lizards so i'm, I'm gonna get a reptile license and buy an eastern are those dragon. really big don't they get really big uh not not reptile like reptile like license the size of your arm yeah you need ah. a you need a license to own reptiles over here huh is but then there I'll have anything, my very own uh, dinosaur and maybe that will make me happy in life is there anything like uh 
specific about it? Like, are they venomous or do they bite or is there anything you I mean, need yeah, to know? They, yeah, they, they can bite. They can definitely bite and they've got sharp claws. But um, Damn, dude. It's just, yeah. You're really thinking I, I don't like these things are huge. What, which, which one are you looking up? They're not that large. Eastern Water Dragons? Uh, I'll look at that one specifically now. This is kick-ass. Yeah, ass. they're not massive. No, they look cute. Oh, no, that's yeah, a lot we, smaller. Okay. Yeah, we used to we used to uh, um, own a lot of reptiles and stuff, mostly snakes, back during my childhood. So I've got experience handling and such with lizards and snakes. So it's not going like, to have like a world. little box full of cockroaches to feed it. Yeah, that's what I'm worried. That's the main thing I don't like about owning reptiles is that they do like to uh, eat uh, like live rodents and such. So you have to feed some of them, you know, mice, and that's oh, kind of I couldn't. Do that, that kind of makes me sad. Yeah, that's, that's mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But apart from that, I, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be fun, and I don't have to turn off their oxygen to do the uh, <laughs> the podcast like I did my fish. <laughs> so that's always. A, oh, that's yeah, always I remember that they're fucking fish choking <laughs> sessions. So you've yeah. you've gone through a lot of pets. What's your current? Uh, what's your current? I have, I, no, don't say that. I haven't gone through a lot of pets. My, well, my, you had my fish pets. and you got rid of them, and then you have a cat. Yeah, and, yeah. What's yeah, your I lineup? Have, I have I have two cats at the moment. That's it. So two two cats, and yeah, previously two clownfish, and then yeah. I um I didn't get rid of them. I just relocated them to someone who would be able to take better care of them. Uh, and then they died. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they swam up a farm somewhere, right? Yeah, a farm upstream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the what, about, what about you guys? Do you do you guys? I know I know Kai is a massive animal guy, mostly cat mm-hmm. guy. But do you guys see yourself getting any kind of like exotic animals in the future? Well, not exotic, but you know, yeah. like something out of the like out of the norm. Yeah, there's people in my server who have snakes and like little geckos or lizards, and they look adorable. Yeah, like there's this. Oh man, some of some of the some of the geckos out there are so fucking cute. Yeah, they have. I know they have like huge eyes and huge. Yeah, yeah, and like uh, huge smiles too. They're adorable. I don't know. There's some cute fucking snakes out there too. Yeah. Yeah, they look adorable. Oh my god, they, they look like they're made out of gummy. They're really cute. So I don't so know. I, I, the thing is, any pet I do get will have to be one that my cats will not kill. So you know, like I couldn't have rats. I think rats are cute. Mm-hmm. I've known somebody who had rats, and they were super adorable too. But like, I know that I couldn't have a rat running around. My cat would just fucking eviscerate that thing. You would definitely have to if you got a, a lizard or a gecko. You'd definitely have to be careful about that. Oh, yeah, and the put cats, them just in the, the cats. Yeah, terrarium. The cats would absolutely fuck with them. Oh yeah, that's one of the main things I'm excited about with getting this lizard is um, I want to get like a full large scale terrarium, you know, like the actual, uh, you know, like the full full plant displays and such. I want like a running waterfall in there. It's going to be great. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. I'm you can live in there it. too. Yeah. <laughs> the the lizards can have the house. I'll stay there. No, I think but, Charlie uh, abandoned uh, the episode. Computer. No, I'm he still did. here. I went downstairs he hates the posi- for a second. He to hates see the positivity. I told I you to he was negative. Tetra. You could like try. I, I could, actually, I don't think it would be possible. But I yesterday only newly found out that you can build underwater computers. Except it's not water. It's like mineral uh, mineral oil. Yeah, but it's like an entire computer with all the parts just submerged in this liquid. And people make whole aquarium computers. It's really cool. But I don't think any life could live in it. That is cool. Wait, what, what, what do you mean? Oh, like a like a submerged um, computer fish tank kind of thing. Yeah, but I don't think it will be right. possible. I'm pretty sure it's toxic. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I really want positive pet, enough, just, Jackson. Uh, oh, sorry, guy. Go ahead. I'm just asking if that was positive. Oh, um, that was very positive. To tackle onto it, I'm severely allergic to everything, as we talked about on an episode. So I really Nerd. want a dog, but I have to go through like a whole allergy shot and all sorts of shit routine to get one. And I just haven't wanted to do that yet. But I do and want a dog. People's allergies can get out of hand. My current cat, I like I'm the luckiest man alive because I got it from a guy who had to give her up as a kitten because his allergies just got so bad. Like when I was there that to pick her be... up. So how long did oh he have Oh my God, dude. That? His girlfriend was 
crying her eyes out and yeah, my girlfriend had fuck. to console her and like meanwhile i'm trying to haggle with the guy for because he had already bought all the stuff for her like uh, the litter box and food and everything and i was like let me at least compensate you for all that crap that you now bought for nothing so i paid him and he was like dude i have to take like five times the recommended dose of my anti antihistamines because i literally cannot even be in the same house as her wow so we Jesus took the Christ. cat so that's right they were both crying dude. but yeah i got that's, a great deal out so of it sad. though I got my cat. <laughs> Sorry, Vladimir. If you ever hear this, my heart goes out to you. I'm but sure he's happy that he, the, uh, your cat at least went to a nice home. Or his cat at least went to a nice home. I, I mean, he better be. The cat is a Some spoiled kind of little bastard. Yeah. What about you, Charlie? Do you see yourself getting any more animals, pets? I definitely don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what that stands or sounds like. Yeah. yeah, I feel like yeah. are you gonna end up like Doug, where his wife makes him get a new dog every year? He has yeah. like uh, he has five right now, I think. Jesus Christ! I hope not. <laughs> that sounds like where this is going. <laughs> not Charlie's decision for another dog, but eh, we'll see mm -hmm. who makes the decision. They can end up doing it. Like, plenty. I was kind I of agree. against getting a third cat too, but here we are, and I love her, and cat, I'm very well, happy. Cats are Cats are a Cats little are different, pretty different than dogs. Yeah, yeah, they're easier. They're very self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, All right, there's our positive topic for the week. Um, we'll, we'll see what you guys think of that one. All righty, I think we're done for this episode. Thank you very much to my pleasant co-hosts for the for this for this week's episode as well as you at home for listening you can head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast if you want to engage with us that way there's also bonus episodes and a bonus content over there just great bang for your buck value i'd say you get hours upon hours of content delivered straight to your feed pretty frequently so yeah go enjoy yourself over there go check it out and thank you again mm -hmm. for listening We'll see you next time on the official podcast. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye.